Very important that these support players position at wide angles. If they wouldn't, for instance, if Adam is stepping to the ball, if EJ is in here somewhere, Matt's here. Again, these guys are in support, but they're in narrow angles. And in this situation, a single defender can cover three men. You don't want that to happen. So it's important the support is wide. And again, depending on the position of other defenders, determines how deep it is. If there's a lot of, we're in a tight space, EJ might even be tighter than Tommy, like right there. If there's no one here, Matty might be a bit further. So it, again, decisions are important on the angle and depth of support. Now, the key is though, support changes as the ball changes. So if the ball's played to EJ, he should immediately have support, again, at wide angles. So as that ball is traveling, Matt's got to be moving. And that's why you know, the, the saying in soccer, the players without the ball have to move more than the players with the ball. It's true. But you have to get yourself in a good passing situation. Ball's played back to Tom. Matt's back in position. Okay, so the way it works, the ball's played to Matt. EJ's here. And how this would work in a game situation, let's go back to, to show us how it's realistic, because in a game, you really just don't play possession. But if we're attacking that goal, and there's a defender in our way, one way to beat him is a quick pass, and then a pass forward, and we're in, okay? That wouldn't happen if EJ wasn't moving in proper support as the ball is moving. So to practice this movement, these guys are gonna play a little game, three versus one, in the grid, and to keep score, we say if the attackers can get six consecutive passes, they get a point. Every time a defender wins the ball, they have to start over. First pass is free. Here we go. Play. Two, three, four, five, six, goal, one, zero, one, two, three, four. Good job, Tommy. Five, six, and relax. Okay, you get the idea.